Okay, I'll be starting the lecture again uh, from the beginning. So today I'll be uh, uh, teaching you uh, the. Uh, today I'll be focus on uh, the our course outline. Uh, the course outline will be initially I will try to develop the core CFD uh, your core CFD knowledge. Uh, in that uh, module I will be covering the governing equations in fluid dynamics. So governing equation means I can uh, uh, show you like uh, Navier-Stokes equations that you might have studied in your undergrad. Uh, and I will also teach some of the uh, I will teach you linear wave equation, and also uh, some insight I will give to the Bernoulli equation. Uh, like what are the governing equations you might have studied in undergrad? So those equations I will teach, and along with that I will give some of the essential mathematics. In essential mathematics, I will teach you the some vector calculus. Uh, then we will move to. Uh, forms of governing equation and their importance. Uh, there are uh, many kinds of uh, governing equations are there. Uh, I'll be teaching you those things and also what are the assumptions they, they are taken and what are the limitations of where you can use and where you can't use. Those portions I will cover. And important PDs in CFD. In CFD, there are, uh, if you move to the Navier Stokes equation, you can see there is. Uh, uh, time derivative, when time derivative is there, space derivative is there. Uh, so these are the important uh, derivative, how uh, these are the first order and you can see the second order derivatives. So the first, how to discretize those first order derivatives, second order derivatives. Those person I will teach you uh, in the discretization uh, procedure. Uh, I can show you that one. Here you can see the 2D heat conduction equation. This one I will cover where you can uh, develop, uh, you can solve uh, numerically the 2D heat conduction uh, problem. And also uh, 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 a 1D uh, uh, linear wave equation, that one also that one also I will be teaching. And then we will move to the finite difference method. Uh, I will be teaching what is the difference between finite difference method and finite volume method. And mostly, I will be. Uh, I won't. Mostly, I won't focus on the finite element method. So, uh, but uh, I will give the brief idea uh, why finite volume method is better compared to finite difference method, and in which aspect finite difference method is better compared to finite volume method. So, those uh, those part also I will be covering. But I will give the little bit uh, little bit knowledge about the finite element methods. And you may also do the some stability analysis when you are uh, solving the uh, partial differential equation using uh, uh, using numerical methods. There are some stability uh, issues came. like uh, under those conditions only your numerical schemes would be stable. Otherwise, it will give you the blown up solution. So we will see those things in the there is some uh, very good criterion is there called von Neumann stability analysis. So I'll be teaching that part as well. That will determine when you are solving a CFD problem. Let us consider uh, there is a flow over a cylinder. Oh, flow over a cylinder. So which scheme you should choose? And if you are doing the transient analysis, so what DT you should use? So those those calculation will come from this stability analysis. There is uh, the one nine one stability analysis will give you what DT you shall choose in order to get a stable solution. So those uh, basic understanding I'll be covering in this module, stability analysis module. And then we'll uh, study uh, grid transformation. Uh, there I will teach the, about the grids. You can make the uh, uh, structured, unstructured, uh, how you can uh, uh, transfer your grids. Like uh, if there is any, uh, in CFD, uh, uh, you can make the structured grid or unstructured grid. But when you are creating any unstructured grid, when you are creating any unstructured grid, so that time how the uh, how the so code inside the CFD they convert to the uh, structured one or how they actually behaves inside the code. Those part I will be covering in grid transformation. <coughs> and uh, during these uh, while studying these modules. Why this pen is not working?
okay oh, while studying these modules while studying mm -hmm. these modules i will be meanwhile i will introduce you in the second lecture uh, sorry third lecture introduction to matlab and while solving uh, as long as we will move into the course you will be learning how what is variable what is array what are matrices and how you can define all those thing in the matlab what are loops while solving the these uh, pds partial differential equation you will uh, learn how you can uh, use the loops in in Hello. your undergrad yeah in your your undergrad so you might yes yes uh, can you please explain me stability analysis again yeah there was a problem with my headphones that's why yes. i can't hear it yes. yes i'll say clear the screen see oh we are still here okay so uh, here you can see this is the linear wave equation the step function i have given this is the initial uh, initial wave equation okay initial step function and the equation that follows this is the equation that uh, this is the hyperbolic equation that follows by this function as it approaches with time and space you can see it is started to initially it is like that as my time progresses its steps should be this way but what happens you can see this amplitude you can see this amplitude is keep on decreasing you can see now its amplitude is up to this right yes initially amplitude was this much but it is stable it is not uh, whether it is not giving you the correct result this pen is not working here it it might not giving you the correct result it might not give you the correct result but it is giving you somewhat uh, some amplitude right it 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 might not give you the correct result this is this was my initially as my time approaches it should be here but because of some there is some something called numerical diffusion okay diffusion and dispersion error those portion i will be covering in the upcoming lectures but uh, it is uh, but uh, here you can see it is giving up to this much only okay but there is some criterion is there when you are convert this partial differential equation will convert to the linear algebraic equation at the end see there is a one thing you have to remember computer do not know how to solve pd but computer knows how to handle the matrix and in order to get the matrix you have to convert these partial differential equation into the linear algebraic equation okay once you convert the once you converted into linear algebraic equation then you can convert that one you can give input to the equation in terms of matrix then you can do matrix manipulation inside the computer and you can do a lot of calculation you got my point so this is how yes. computer solves a partial differential equation while converting this partial differential equation into the linear algebraic equation so that you can give to computer as in the form of matrix there some a term comes called c dt by dx okay c dt by dx okay this this is this uh, this part is called as the dt c dt by dx called as the courant number cfl number usually we call it as the cfl number as we move uh, into this lecture that time I will, you will be get the clear cut idea why, how it is derived and how you are getting this is called cfl number so by doing von neumann stability analysis you you are you will be at such a stage to decide that how much dt you should pick 
in order to get it stable if it won't be if dt within is not within that range then you won't get this type of result it would be blown up you can get this type of result like zigzag like there would be some uh, wiggles form in the back and forth of your the uh, you know forth of your step okay i will i can show you that one like what is uh, on stable solution uh how a unstable solution looks like hmm. 